Some good news on a Friday. Bitcoin rallying 1.8%. The stock market green in the markets now pressing in less of an interest rate hike. What is going on? A complete U-turn after the CPI reading. Does this mean we've bottomed out? What price points can we expect to see in the short term? We're going to take a look at the charts, guys. Don't forget to smash up the like button. Hit up the subscribe button. And we're going to get straight into this chart. And as you can see, up 1.8% today and having a really nice rally. This red dotted line here shows when the cpi reading come out the market had initial wobble before then picking back up and moving to the upside now you can see we're in this channel which we've been obeying for a little while so congratulations to anybody who's taking any of these moves off the bottom trading them up to the top you can do so using bybit you can do so using bitbet bit get links in description those are affiliate links which support the channel but they offer you some amazing bonuses which you can use to trade for free so definitely some great opportunities for those who know how to trade to trade these in the channel here from the bottom to the top and getting nice tasty returns here uh, just from trading the channel but the question we have on the top of our tongues is how long is this going to last for right how long are we going to sit in this channel and more importantly have we now bottomed out can we start moving upwards or is there going to be a leg to the downside now we're going to unpick that a little bit here but first fear and greed index sitting at 15 we look to the stock market and we see the stock market is rallying 1.74 percent on the dow jones smp up 1.35 we've got the nasdaq up a percent as well what is going on well we had some interesting earnings coming from the banks uh the markets like what they saw from wells fargo they rallied 2.8 percent on wells fargo stock Citigroup also beat estimates and benefited from the raising rates environment they went up 5.2 percent so really interesting space in the market. Also, if we take a quick look at the dollar index, the dollar index does continue to show some strength. But part of the reason we're seeing Bitcoin rally here is we are in a calling off leg here on the dollar index. Okay, so you're seeing it's just having a little bit of a call off coming down to its CMA ribbon. And once it bounces off that, then the dollar is going to continue to show strength, which again will be a bit difficult for Bitcoin if this continues to create new all time highs here on the dollar index. Okay, that's very, very important. Now, the bit I wanted to speak about was there's a new piece of news which has literally just come out now, which is your Michigan consumer sentiment figure. Now, Previously, in the previous month, this came in at 50. The expectation for this month was 49.9, and it came in at better than expected. So 51.1. The previous month was a record low. So this was good because they were expecting another low, but it came in higher than expected, which is positive. In other words, consumers are now feeling a little bit better in July than they did in June. Remember, this is important. Jerome Powell looks at this data to inform his decisions. When the previous Michigan survey came out, the Friday before the the FOMC meeting, Jerome Powell took that data and decided to go with a 75 basis point rate hike. So with this data, what we've seen now is this is the five to 10 year inflation expectation of the consumers they surveyed. And you can see the expectation for inflation has fallen from 3.1%, 30 basis points down to 2.8%. So this is good. Markets are expecting less inflation. And it shows that some of the roll down in commodity prices during July, which weren't taken into account on the CPI data, seems to be filtering through to the consumers, which is good. If they're feeling better, they will behave better, which will avoid inflation. So that's good. Okay. Now, that means if you go over to the Fed rate monitor tool, remember, this was something we were monitoring quite often. This gives you the, the how much of a rate hike is price priced into the market. And we could see as soon as the CPI data came out, this rocketed from about 7% 7 up to about 70%, 80% region. Now it's called back down again. So basically, the market now majoritively thinks there's going to be a 75 basis point hike and only 40% thinks there's going to be a full 1%. Okay, so 60% believe 75 basis points and 40% believe there'll be a one basis, one full percentage point increase in the interest rates. Also worthy of note, um, Fed officials also came out over the last 24, 36 hours. We had Chris Waller, we had Bullard. They are both hawks. In other words, normally they would come out and say, yeah, we want more rate hikes. They actually came out and said we favored 75 basis points. So the market was getting carried away. It was trying to price in a full 100 basis points, but the market, um, the Fed officials came out and said, nope, 75 basis points should be just fine so that's helping the market call off they're unpricing that in in the form of a rally and that is why we're seeing the market rally but 
I've got a warning for all of you guys. I have to share this. I can't just say to you, oh, look, it's all happy dory. We've created a bottom and we're moving to the top. That's not how things work, guys. And if you want to see my in-depth on-chain metrics, go and watch the video titled The Capitulation Has Just Started, right? Go watch that video and you'll see my in-depth analysis of why I think there is more pain ahead. And if I show you this chart as well, which you guys have seen a good number of times from me now, let me just zoom out. This is what's ha happened every other FOMC meeting and CPI reading. We rally, uh, sorry, we go sideways for a bit, we fall, we consolidate, we fall, we consolidate. So what we're in now is this, is this consolidation period. And the question we have to ask ourselves is how long is this going to last for? Is this just a relief rally giving us a couple of green candles up to here before falling down? That's what we have to be wary of. Until we nullify this pattern, unless, until we go above 22,000, I'll show you the levels in the other chart and start working our way up out of this pan pattern here, we cannot be confident that we're out of this bearish trend. The bears are in control. This is a textbook bear flag pattern. So we'd be naive just because we've had a couple of green days here to say, oh, we're suddenly out of the woods here. No, if I bring out the EMA ribbon, I'll just remind you guys, we are running into our EMA ribbon. We are running into resistance here. So until we flip this EMA ribbon, we start working our way to 24,000, 25,000. We're not out of the woods here. So I wouldn't get excited that this floor has been created. There's no evidence for either from on-chain or even the technicals to suggest that's happened just yet. Yes, we've got a good day in the market. Yes, the market got excited and priced in 100 basis points and now has unwound that. But we, we can't see from the chart here that we're bullish just yet. And anybody who's telling you that is completely misinformed. You need to be careful which moon boys you're listening to. If they can't explain to you, as I've explained to you, what's happening in the wider economy, what's happening with inflation, what's happening with Michigan sentiment, what's happening with the Fed officials, then you need to question who are you listening to? Who are you getting your data from? Because if they're just showing you a chart pattern and nothing else, well, any, any kid can do that, right? They can show you a chart pattern and nothing else. You guys pretty much can figure that out. So... That is what we need to look out for is we need to watch out for this bear flag to break to the downside okay if we break to the upside start nullifying this then we can talk then we can say okay this is good because we've not done that the previous times every other time we've gone sideways we fall we've gone sideways consolidate and we fall we've gone sideways right fool me once shame on me fool me twice whatever well how, i don't even know how that saying goes right but we're not going to fall for it again okay now if we break this channel to the upside, I want to show you guys what it would take, because it's not like we're oblivious to an upward price target. If we can break this channel to the upside, and I'm pointing specifically to this line here, if we can break this line to the upside, if we can start working our way up, maybe get a retest, start working our way up to 24,000 and beyond, okay, now this is different. We've not done this the previous times. We would have flipped our daily EMA ribbon bullish. We would have broke against trend. We would have broken the backs of some of the bears. And now we're looking a little bit better, but we're not there yet. Okay. We're not there yet. And if we do get there, that is a beautiful trade. I would love to trade out of the breakout there. Otherwise, when we get here, more likely than not, you're getting sent back down to the channel. So if we break, we see a confirmation, then you can go long. If not, it looks like you're going short here, back down to the bottom of the channel. And the fear would be once you get to the bottom of the channel, what happens when we break down? Will we be seeing those 17,600 levels again at the lows? Will we, will we be seeing lower targets at 16,000 or 15,000 as some of the on-chain metrics suggested, which I shared with you in other videos? So a lot going on here on Bitcoin. We've got to stay cautious, but at the same time, we've got to keep an eye out for the bullish momentum, right? We can't be oblivious to the fact that if we break out of this channel and start working our way up, we it can move quickly. We know that with crypto, look how quickly we fell here to the downside. That is why I'm, I'm looking for the break of this trend to say, okay, can we trade that up to the top side back to 30k? Because that can happen explosively, but we have got caught out before, right? Look at that fake out there. You don't want the same to happen here. So you don't want to get caught out getting in long too early and FOMOing in and chasing green candles. Okay, guys, if you haven't watched my polygon video polygon is showing a lot of great strengths that's also known as matic the token uh, go watch that video from yesterday also go watch my bitcoin capitulation video so you know exactly what is going on in the market hold your conviction be patient don't chase green candles it's the worst thing you can do let the market come to you and uh, act rationally not emotionally hope you guys enjoyed this video as always don't forget to smash up the like button and subscribe do check out bybit and bitget links in the description go watch this video now and i'll see you in the next one